Hello everyone. I think almost every smartphone, phone, or tablet owner has encountered the problem of low memory. And, of course, the question arises, how to clear memory on Android? How to clear phone memory? How to clear your smartphone's memory without deleting anything important or necessary, so that all those downloaded apps continue to work without crashing and you don't have to delete photos or apps, your recorded videos, or maybe some downloaded movies. Basically, nothing will disappear from your phone, but you will free up memory and be able to download more apps or other information that you like. There are many cleaning methods, both with and without software. Today I will show you several effective methods that will work on any phone model. Let's say I'll demonstrate on a Xiaomi phone. But if you have a Samsung, Honor, Huawei, MSU, or any other brand, the options are also available. The interface in the settings may be slightly different, but I think you'll find all these settings without any problem. Watch the video. The first thing I recommend is that if your phone supports a memory card, set it to recognize your SD card as internal storage. What does this do? When I go into settings and look for an app, all my apps are already configured this way. And notice that there are zeros everywhere on the right. This means the RAM is not occupied and your phone's performance will improve. The advantage is that any app you download from the Google Play Store will be installed directly to your SD card because the phone treats it as internal storage, and you don't have to manually move or transfer anything. You simply install the app from the Play Store, and it's immediately transferred to the SD card, which is very convenient and great, and you always have free space. I'll leave a link to how to do this in the video description. It's called, How to Turn 32 Gigabytes into 128 Gigabytes. Let's say your phone's storage is completely full and you can't install any apps. There's no manager or any special cleaning app, and you need to free up at least 5, maybe even more, gigabytes of memory. Your phone could have a malicious app that collects information, voice data, when you talk, when you type, or when you search for something in browsers or on YouTube. All of this accumulates in one app. Of course, you don't need to delete it, but I'll show you something now, and at the same time, you'll actually free up about 5 gigabytes of memory. To do this, you need to use the Google Play Store. Go here, tap your avatar on the right, then tap the feedback button at the bottom, and here, find how to delete an app from an Android device. Scroll down and find this line. Tap it to go to the app settings. If you have dark mode enabled, you won't be able to access it, it will show an error. So, switch to light mode and go here calmly. It will load all your apps. And here you can also tap and show system processes. Unfortunately, there is no search here. By the way, if anyone has a search function here, it would be interesting to read and scroll carefully, find speech recognition and synthesis. This may also be called a speech service. Go to this app and check the storage and cache. The internal memory is only 63 gigabytes. I periodically clear it all, so I don't accumulate much. But if you haven't used it before, you will have two or three times more than I do. Basically, clear the cache, clear the storage, and press OK. Now only 138 megabytes remains, which is almost 2 gigabytes. We have successfully deleted and freed up space. All your apps and files remain intact and you can additionally download any apps or files you need. If this is not enough, then without using any programs, then find this file manager on your phone. It may also be called a file explorer. The icon usually looks like a yellow folder on a white background. Go here. This is very important. Tap the three horizontal lines at the bottom left. Go to settings. And you need to enable the option to show hidden files because by default, if you haven't enabled it before, it will be disabled. So you won't find anything. Click and you can exit. Go back and click on the folder at the top. Find the folder called Android. Go inside and click on the data folder. Most likely, a window will appear with a message saying that the contents of this folder cannot be displayed here due to Android limitations. Click to show the files. Then click on the Android folder again. If it's located below, scroll and find it. Then click on the data folder again. Now click on search. 
Look, I've already emptied it. You need to type the word trash, and it will find this hidden folder. This is your hidden trash on your phone that you don't see when you delete it. For example, photos, videos, or any other files. They are not completely deleted. They go into this trash and are temporarily stored there until it is full. The phone allocates about 10 gigabytes of internal storage for this trash. And after deleting it, you won't lose anything. It simply deletes everything you've long since deleted but were still temporarily stored. You just don't see it anymore. I also recommend typing cache. It can overwrite temporary thumbnails of images you've opened, which are created in a hidden folder. They also take up space and can be safely deleted, as photos and videos aren't deleted. You can also type cache when receiving updates. Often, they arrive on your phone first and then install, but Android doesn't always delete them. Some remnants remain. These can be 1, 2, or even 3 gigabytes. It's advisable to find them manually and delete them to free up more space on your phone. This method is good, but I still recommend using a different file manager, for example, this default one, but with more advanced features. Since default file managers don't always search well and don't find everything, I recommend simply downloading Tattle Commander. It's a proven program. I already removed it from my phone after cleaning it. I'm now installing it again. By the way, I recently read comments where someone said that TTL Commander has changed beyond recognition and now can't find anything. I'll take a look at it anyway while I'm downloading it. I'll tap to open. Then you need to tap accept, and you can go directly to settings and check whether the hidden files and folders option is enabled or not. It's enabled now. Go back. Go to internal storage from the list, find the Android folder. Go inside it and find the details folder. Some phones may not have a My Apps folder. This is not a problem. Simply find all the files without going to My Apps. If you see My Apps here, go there. We've achieved what we need. So you understand that this is not a cleaning program. It's TTLMANAGER, a file manager, the same as the standard one, but with more advanced features. We go to the yellow folder. This is the same file manager. Then we manually search here for all the files we need to clean. We press our search here. Remove the asterisk, we don't need it. And then enter all the files that are there. The simplest file, which you already know, is your cache. Click search, and it will find all the files. This way, it will check all your apps. You don't have to go into each app and clear the cache. This method takes a long time. But this way, you wait a little, and it will find all the cache files that are present on your phone. I'll click cancel because it can take a few minutes. Here, it found only a few. Here, click the three check marks at the bottom. OK. Select it and click trash to delete. Click yes, you've cleared everything. Then click search again. Remove the asterisk again, and you can quickly type SM. Click search and immediately see how many files it found. I'll also click cancel because there will be a lot of these files. These are all those thumbnail photos that were deleted from you a long time ago. You can also delete them this way so they don't take up your memory. Select all. By the way, this way you can find your old photos, 34 years old, that you deleted a long time ago. Perhaps you did it by accident, and this way you can recover them. Of course, the quality will be like the quality of a screenshot you take on your phone, but it's still better than nothing at all. So you can use this for cleaning. Delete everything, but also to recover photos that were once mistakenly deleted. Delete, clear again, press search, uncheck the star. You can also rename the trash folder so you can search it again, because perhaps fewer files will be found there through the standard file explorer. Well, again, you didn't wait long until I pressed cancel. You just use the words I'm about to write. You already know the word. It all refers to browsers, various links, and the like that are temporarily saved. There are a lot of them too. You can also easily clear all this. Select everything and delete. I won't wait long after each file, because to clean everything, you really need to sit there for 56 minutes and wait for your entire phone to be scanned. Click OK, it's deleted. 
Keep searching. You can also use the word XO or Echo. These are very similar files that also belong to YouTube browsers and watching videos in browser players. These residual files also accumulate on your smartphones, and they also need to be cleared to avoid video lag. You can type the word blog when a lot of them have accumulated in your phone's cache. They turn into very large files. You can also try typing the word FPS to find remnants of installed updates. And if you really want to tackle cleaning your phone with Tattle Commander, I have several separate videos where I demonstrate each command, where to wait, how many files I find, how many will be cleared, and so on. You can watch all of them if you want. Follow the link in the description.